Hi, everybody. My name is Phyllis Y. Whitley. If you have been spiritually victimized and traumatized, welcome to Spiritology Live, where I bring my number one Amazon book to life. Each episode will be a raw, spiritual, metaphysical, and holistic space of consciousness for self-healing. As you learn how to break your religious shackles and master the farmer's land and manifest it too. Let's go. Well, well, everybody, I am live. This is my podcast, Spiritology, and I thank everybody who has been listening to the audio. That's everywhere. But now it's time we start doing this live. Yes, I am by my loathsome self, but it's all right. I thank those who have been with me in the past. What we're going to talk about today is over the few, the last few months, I noticed a lot of things that was going on. First of all, I took a, a beautiful self-care cruise, but I noticed that people, people that I had a connection with, even when I did um, an event, a webinar, it was so many people who had started something from a book to a product, and they knew they were stuck. They said they were stuck, but guess what? When I actually offered the opportunity for them to come from a stuck place and become successful. <clears throat> and not only did they run, to this day, their voice is not out there. And you know what that means? that audience that need to hear their voice will not hear it. Another year will go by. So I created a webinar where you can come and we can get together and every week. You can look at Eventbrite for that. You'll be moving from a stuck place to a successful place. So with that being said, with this particular podcast, I'm going to give you some information and I'm going to give you some wisdom and I'm going to try to help you. Why me? Well, over the last three weeks, you could say two and a half weeks, I literally went from stuck to success. That's why this particular podcast episode is going to be jumpstart your creative journey. Because it is a journey. It can be a hard journey. But you know what I did? I have 13 books. It's really 12, but it was 13 because I replaced one, which I did in three weeks or less. It was around two and a half weeks. But everything was finished in three weeks. And that's just one of the things that I manifested. I also manifested a trip, a beautiful, beautiful cruise. I manifested it because I had it here first. I had it in my head first. Yes, it was here first. Did I pray about it? Of course I prayed. About it. But you know, God says that when you pray, believe that you already received it. And the manifestation may come through affirmation prayer, or even just a visual board, a, vis a visual map, whatever it is that you have it, that's just a reminding you. That's just waking up your conscious mind. So if you have not ever heard my podcast before, you can go back. Ahead. I encourage you to listen to all the other things, all the series that I have that's going to help you accomplish the goals that you want to accomplish. 
We are not going to go forth into 2025 and you still got the book on the shelf. You still got the book in the computer. You still got the, the book. And when I say shelf, it's not the store shelf. Your book is sitting on your table. The products that you know you can develop. It's a struggle. I know it's a struggle because I started everything in this mature age where everything was sitting there. Some of the things were sitting there probably in my 30s and even in my 40s. But I feel like God doesn't stop our timing or delay it. Now that you know that, it's you. Get out of your own way and that'll be another later on podcast. What we're going to go ahead and discuss today is I want you to ask yourself why. Why are you stuck? When God sends people your way, you know, on my webinars, I hear the hype. Yes, yes, Miss Phyllis, I want to do this. I got it sitting on my computer stand. I got it here. I got it in my journal. And then you say, well, who do you want to talk to? And I told somebody before, they said, oh, I'm waiting, trying to figure my audience. And I said, no, don't let that stop you. And they said, really? I thought you were supposed to know the audience first. That is true. But guess what? You will start knowing exactly who your audience are when you start writing the book. Things change all the way till you get to the end. But in the beginning, when I do the introduction, I start saying, oh, this is geared to so-and-so. But audience, to me, matter more when you are going to give a speech, when you're going to get online and you're going to be in front of people. But when you do a book, you need to pay on the message I feel that you are going to deliver, the message you want to get out. Because I don't want to limit my book. When you go in the bookstore, unless it's a children's book, they may have it separated with age group. But how about your book? The book that you have stuck in your computer, <laughs> stuck on your laptop. And you say, oh, I, I need to get a, a, a what? You know who you want to talk to. You know what whatever happened to you. You know how to take the age that you went through something hell and you say that right there is who you're speaking to. So that's no excuse. What's the other excuse? People say lack of time. That's why you go hire somebody. You go get some, dedicate your work. I had to do that and that's hard. Find a publisher, a, a book advisor. Find somebody. Get a virtual assistant to, who can type up your stuff. If you are working from home, Canva is your best friend. You can also go to Fiverr for illustration. Now, I do a lot of my work. I have virtual assistants, and I also, it, my daughter, my daughter do illustration. I love design. Everything that goes through have to come to me. And if I don't like the way it looks, if I didn't dream about it, I didn't wake up with that as a vision, I go and I go and I, and, and I'm not looking for perfection, but I know it was in my head. <clears throat> so time, you must make time. You cannot afford to let another year go by and you are hiding all of your valuable uh, wisdom from the audience to hear it. That young girl out there, you need to get your wisdom, your book to that young girl or that young male out there before they go and get into something that they don't need to be into. How do you feel that you don't have these things out here that's valuable? Everybody, oh, I want to get a book. I want people to know what I'm going through. I want to do, but then I want to do nothing. I just came from a book fair where... It was very frustrating and disappointing that they didn't have all the customers to come in. 
But at the same time, I use that opportunity to network because what it is is people want to go get a book and they want to sit there and they just want to sit there and say, my book is so good. You come in, the, you go, you're going to come read it. But read your book. Everybody don't think your book is good. But you got to put your book out there. This is the book that I had done in three weeks. It's a children's book. Once I make a decision, I block everything, every noise in my whole area, and I write the book. The books that you see behind me, posters, I wrote those books. And I actually started writing the books. I do believe... Um, don't quote me on it. My first book, Spiritology, was when was that Spiritology done? It was done. I'm not sure was it done in. I'm. You know what? It, I don't even really remember. But I'm going to tell you. This is the last I did this summer, 2024. I did two books, Blackology. I'm still promoting this. I'm promoting the, the trilogy behind me. So you got to keep busy. How do you do it when you have a job, a full-time job? You leave the weekends, the weekends that your friends are hanging out or going even on vacation. I believe in self-care. If you are going on vacation and, and relieve yourself from writer's block, that's fine. You must make time. Close your, lock your door if you have kids. A children's book can be easier. The less illustration you have, that'll be better for Amazon. But you have no excuse. If you think about that person that changed your life when you was going through a struggle in your childhood, teenage, or even in adulthood, could you imagine if you didn't meet them? It would have delayed your process. Yes, God could have brought somebody else into your into your um space. But think about it. You know, you met that one divine person that changed your life. Your book is ready to change somebody's life. And some of y'all say, when God, when God's like, I've been sitting up here waiting for you. Yeah, time. The next thing is feeling overwhelmed. Yes, you can feel overwhelmed. This is why you need to go ahead and get people to help you. Get professional people to help you. Why? Because those people that's around you that can help you, book advisor, book publisher, they can do all the hard work, the leg work for you. So you see you have no excuse. What we want to do today is I want to go past Go. Remember the game? Yes. You need to get past go. Some of you are just walking around and I don't want you to be stuck. You feel miserable 2024. You know why? Because you should have wrote a book. I'm going to tell you some, some tips on it. The first thing is I started then the subtitle. Don't worry about it because as you go on in the book, you might change something and adjust something. If you start with those two things, make each part of the book a particular date. Set a goal. I, you know, if you already know this, your title and your subtitle. If you don't, ask AI. Remember, AI is not a place. AI is to assist you. And you can take your assistant AI and you can say, well, what cover do I want? Do I want a picture of me and just a name? That's another day that you do that. I did the cover rights. I did this disclaimer. You don't have to have it in this order. Why am I telling you this? I did the dedication. 
here go the contents table of contents. If you do spend one hour, I'm telling you, one hour a day doing each page, you will feel so good because you will be work, you're, you'll be waking up your book. Yes, intro done. It can be short or long. And here it's short, one page. And then I went into the book. And I'm going to be honest with you. I went straight. Let me not say that. I went straight to the author. I went straight to the author. And you know why I went to the author? Because I wanted the main things to be taken care of about the author. So do you see what I'm getting at? Step by step. And then find somebody that is, is going to, uh, you want to partner with someone that you can actually feel accountable with and basically get accountability because that person could push you and say, come on, you can do it. If you have a spouse, there's no reason why you do you shouldn't have a book because they should be constantly telling you. Now, I don't you understand where I came from and what I'm doing. I'm not stuck or in idle. Yes, I do get white writer's block. That's where self-care comes. You don't want to bang your head over and over and over. So in conclusion, I encourage all your listeners, all the listeners out there to take some type of action, small action. Write the title. Write the title. Go get your cover. Figure out what you want if you're going to have somebody. Get all the people that you, platforms that you're going to need. If you like doing graphic design and whatever, go to Canva. Get an account at Canva. If you want to go ahead and give it to somebody else, Fiverr is going to go overseas and look at the best prices that you want to pay. Don't be cheap because you're going to get cheap. So I want to go ahead and end this. I'm going to end this with letting you know that the next episode, I'm going to tell you what benefits you. But right now, we need your book out because it benefits someone else. How long do that young girl or young boy need to wait until your book come out? How long? Do you want to keep your legacy from your family? Yes, your book can be a legacy. It will be a legacy. But you need to think about that. You need to ask yourself today. Put in a comment. Do you have a product? Yeah, we didn't even talk about the product. I have products out there. You see, I have a t-shirt. I create t-shirts. Easy. Create your book. And then go create the t-shirt. My new book that I did in three weeks. All my books are available on Amazon. Look at this. This is really your resume. This is your portfolio. Do you get what I'm saying? You can walk around with this. This is your bragging rights. Get shirt. I have mugs and cups. It's on this way. What do you like? Do you just like the cups? Take your book and put it on the cover. Maybe you don't want a book. You want to just go ahead and do products. Go and get on. Find out about merch. This is your steps, your little baby steps. Join merch with Amazon. Join Teespring. It's a lot of uh, other platforms for t-shirts. See, see those little steps? Now, from there, what you can go ahead and do, you might want to do perfume. I even sell oil on the side. Those little jo job hustles, side hustles. Hmm. It's going to benefit because somebody needs your Pacific voice. Well, Miss um, Miss P, you don't understand. I got a deep act. I don't know how to present myself. I'm not really articulate. You as you you hear me, my accent comes through and sometimes I say the word upside down. 
Go on social media if you already have social media. Your group, I don't care if you got five people, if they've been following you for years, guess what? They can help you. You can just sell to your group. Yes. Miss P, I don't like social media. I don't like it either. I just closed, I closed down maybe what, this year, um, Instagram. I don't like it. But listen, my spirit, God to, uh, touched my spirit years ago. Get on YouTube. I said, mm -mm. no. Now I'm on here and I'm like, you know what? Years went by and I said, I ain't got time for this. If it's one person that hears me, that one person may go get my book, go get my products and make a difference because basically Spirit Ology Live is living in your promised land today. As I said today to someone else I was interviewing, your promised land, a lot of people feel that when you are Christian or uh, any religion that you are, that you're not supposed to be living on this side. They feel that you're supposed to be raggedy, you're supposed to be poor, you're supposed to be struggling. But if you don't have a dollar, don't have two coins to knock at each other. Do, do, who are you going to help? Miss P, I want to help the world, but you can't help the world unless you prosper. No, you don't have to be a millionaire. But it's better for you, a person rather hear from a millionaire or somebody who has succeeded. I am successful in my manifestations. Because I'm successful, I can get up here and talk. And let me tell you something. Before I was successful, I got up here and talked. Because you can just talk. I I specialize in relationships. I am a, a holistic wellness coach. You can take that one book and turn that one book into how many episodes, podcasts. Do you see what I'm trying to say? You can go ahead and do t-shirts. There go your episodes. How to stop it I want you to stop and tell yourself 2024 is preparation it's, I know it's almost over for 2025 write your goals down write your goals down and you're going to find out that the little goals that I just gave you is going to help you especially if have somebody there to encourage you. Well, Miss P, I don't have anybody. You have me. Contact me. I will encourage you and walk you through. And actually, yes, I can do your book too. It's always someone out there. Yes. Somebody. If you have a daughter, a son, or more than a you know, more kid, more than one child, they can encourage you. Your mother can be behind you of the past but I know she's smiling upon me so other words what I'm saying is you have no excuse stop it get out of your own way well I am going to tell you you came into my space and I am so thankful now go get your promised land that promised land may just be a book it may be a product pocketbook you made you understand it may be something it may be a poetry whatever it is somebody needs it stop neglecting those people out there that boy that girl that woman that elderly person who need to know what you know now I want you to go ahead because I don't know who you know so what you need to do know about my spiritology live what is new on the horizon Xander Speaks Xander Speak is my next or should I say second children book you will love it Xander Speak bully but unbroken if anybody you know is suffering through the bulliness in school even grown people this is the book for you. And I want you to remember the next time we see each other, 
the next podcast will be what benefits you. Remember, if loving yourself is right, you don't want to be wrong. Thank you.